Chaos Group has been teasing the progress of Virinex for Cinema 4D for the past two months and in this video we take a look at the development of Virinex for Cinema 4D and how far behind it is compared to Arnold, Redshift, Octane or even Corona and what would it take to lure back other render engine users within Cinema 4D back to V-Ray. Hey folks, welcome to Mograph Plus. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Maxwell and so on. Chaos Group, the developer of V-Ray, has been rewriting V-Ray for Cinema 4D from the ground up since they took over the development of V-Ray for C4D last year. You can check out the video we did last year when that happened. And on June 4th, Chaos Group released the first sneak peek video of what they have been working on and that video showcased improved motion blur with CPU and V-Ray GPU, IPR and production rendering with CPU and V-Ray GPU, full and region rendering in the Cinema 4D viewport, better V-Ray frame buffer integration and improved lens effects. And six weeks later, they followed that video with another one and that video showed some of the key V-Ray next features integrated into V-Ray for Cinema 4D like adaptive dome light and bucket rendering within the V-Ray GPU. That video also showed a much simpler user interface for render settings and they promised to make the entire UI and UX much simpler and friendlier as they keep developing the engine. It also showed better support for UV mapping and textures and finally improved materials when rendering in IPR. As it is a complete rewrite of V-Ray for Cinema 4D, V-Ray Next won't be available anytime soon and probably by the second quarter or second half of 2020 we can expect it to be released to the public. Considering how good and popular Arnold, Redshift and Octane are within Cinema 4D and the fact that we still might not get V-Ray Next for another 6 or 7 months, I'm not sure how Chaos Group will play this and what their game plan is. But for the very loyal Vray users who have been waiting for years as the previous developer kept ruining Vray for Cinema 4D, the promise of a Chaos Group backed and developed Vray for Cinema 4D is just so sweet that I'm sure they will patiently wait to finally get their hands on. Now, convincing the majority of Cinema 4D users who have already adapted Arnold, Redshift, Octane, Cycles or even Corona is not going to be easy and to do it, they need to be consistent with the development, keep V-Ray 4 Cinema 4D updated and close to what V-Ray 4 3ds Max has to offer and that would lure some users back into V-Ray and I hope they do so because V-Ray is a fantastic render engine. Now what do you think about V-Ray Next for Cinema 4D? Let me know down below in the comment section. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos from Mograph Plus. See you next time.